Hi guys, this is Mr. Pharma. I always wanted to do this video and I am finally able to do it now. Let us see today about pharmacovigilance as a career and I will try to give an end-to-end -end overview from the history to how to apply and join for PV jobs. So watch this video fully if you are planning to choose PV as your career. Welcome guys, this is Pharma Portal, the pharma you need to know, share and grow. Okay, let us see the history of PV. Pharmacovigilance started about 170 years ago, but not named at that time. The pharmacist and medical physicians monitored the risk and benefit ratio, improving patient safety and quality of life. In Europe, in 1965, the disaster of thalidomide, where the babies born had limb formation disorders, which is also called teratogenetic effect. This stimulated the development of strict rules for monitoring the adverse drug reaction. That's how PV evolved stronger, better, and more importantly, safer. So what is pharmacovigilance and why is it required? The World Health Organization defined pharmacovigilance as the pharmacological sign and activities relating to the detection, assessment, understanding and prevention of adverse events or any other drug related problem. In short, PV aims to protect the patients, to share the knowledge among professionals so that the adverse events are minimized. So why is PV required? A drug effectiveness and side effects cannot be compared without pharmacovigilance. In addition to assessing whether a drug's benefit outweigh its risk. Since previously undetected adverse events can occur at any time, PV is required to monitor the ongoing events and ensure the drug remains safe for use. The use of digital technologies has increased the opportunity to deliver a speedy, efficiency, quality PV programs. Hence, the scope is very high in the future. So what are the methods used in pharmacovigilance? There are four important methods in pharmacovigilance such as passive surveillance, active surveillance, cohort event monitoring, targeted clinical investigation. Passive surveillance methods involve the usage of spontaneous adverse event reports voluntarily sent by the healthcare professionals or patient to the marketing authorization holders or regulatory agency example via Digibase, Udravigil. Active surveillance method aims to monitor certain specific drug related adverse event and seeks to get the number of adverse drug reactions entirely through a pre-planned process. It is commonly known as toxicity monitoring or safety monitoring. The third method is cohort event monitoring. In this, the surveillance study is planned before beginning the treatment with the medication and a group of people are exposed to a drug for a defined period and actively followed up during the treatment. The last method is the targeted clinical investigation in which the investigations are performed to identify characterized adverse reactions related to drug among specific populations like people with some genetic disorders, pregnant women and older people. So this is an important topic to understand the difference between a side effect versus an adverse effect. What is a side effect? A side effect is an effect of a drug, chemical or other medicine that, that is an addition to its intended effect. Side effects are mild in nature and self-resolving when compared to the adverse effect. So what is an adverse effect? In the medical field, an adverse effect is a harmful, undesirable effect that results from a medication or other intervention such as surgery. They can be caused due to incorrect dosage or a medical procedure or an allergic reaction etc. So what is an adverse drug event? An adverse drug event is an injury resulting from the use of a drug. So what is an adverse drug reaction? An adverse drug reaction is a response to a drug which is noxious and unintended which occurs at doses normally used in man for prophylaxis, diagnosis or therapy of a disease or for the modification of physiological function. So how does an ADR differ from a side effect or an allergy? An allergy is an adverse drug reaction mediated by the immune response, example rash or hive. Hope this clarifies the difference between a side effect and adverse effect. The pharmacovigilance expert is called pharmacovigilance associate or drug safety associate. They monitor all products and conduct post-marketing evaluations to ensure the drug safety. They are involved in assessing adverse drug event writings, updating reports on safety, conducting quality and conveying drug related case reports to appropriate authorities. They support data safety and case tracking. They serve as a link between the company and the patient or the healthcare experts to provide a valid information on product safety. They are involved in conducting a regular pharmacovigilance developments and supervising processes. They attend several meetings related to product safety by adding value to any business through product safety function. 
So now let us take a look at some of the softwares used in pharmacovigilance for the management and reporting of adverse events. The first software is called Oracle Argus Safety. Oracle Argus Safety software is a de facto standard for the management of drug safety data used in the industry today. The second one is Ares G. It is used more than 300 companies that maintain their critical drug safety in Ares G worldwide. The third one is Oracle AERS. So Oracle AERS provides a single global solution with a powerful automation and end productivity tool to meet the challenges for managing your worldwide safety information. The other softwares include ClinTrace, PVNet, Rep Clinical, Vigilance Dynamic Monitoring System, Web VDM Signal Management Software, and PVWorks. So what is the eligibility and top skills required for PV jobs? B Farm, M Farm, and Farm D are the highly preferred candidates for PV jobs. MBBS, BDS, and BSc Nursing are also considered. Any life science degree such as MSc Biotech, Microbiology, Bioinformatics, Chemistry are also considered. So the top skills that is expected are basic pharma knowledge, a basic legal and regulatory knowledge, a information management and analytical skills, database knowledge, a good communication skills, and especially if there is a foreign language skill, is going to add value. So what is the salary of pharmacovigilance associate? As per the recent pay scale, an average fresher who is a PV associate gets a pay range of 3.75 to 5.5 lakh depending on the company, location and the skills etc. The national average salary for a PV associate is around 4,60,000 per year in India. Depending on how fast you can learn, pick up your skills, your salary package is fixed. And people who have around 3 years in this particular field earn around 6 to 8 lakhs. Pharmacovigilance certificate courses are now available online in Udemy courses and Coursera. You can pause this video here and you can see the list of courses that is offered in Udemy and Coursera. So you can pause this video here. Some of the institutes and colleges for pharmacovigilance certifications are captured here and some of the UG pharmacovigilance courses are also mentioned. But ensure to validate and then join for this courses. So who are the major recruiters of pharmacovigilance? There are so many companies available in India who are recruiting for pharmacovigilance jobs. Job opportunities are abundant in top IT service based companies, pharmaceuticals and CROs as shown here. To apply jobs, look at the company's website's career page and also apply via LinkedIn and Knocker. These are the best chances that you get recruited in these companies. Wishing you all the best. Hope you like this video. Encourage us by hitting the like button. If you have any questions, post it in the comments and share this video to your friends and family. Most importantly, subscribe and press the bell icon for regular notifications from our pharma portal channel bye